while Amanda Lombard is a senior at Needham High School and she received the Ray of Hope Award this month for her dedication to her volunteer work at Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital Needham. Her experience there reinforced her love of caring for others and she plans to attend Quinnipiac University to study nursing. Amanda is a great recipient for this month's Ray of Hope Award because she's made a big contribution to the Needham community by dedicating a lot of time to Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital as a volunteer there. At BID, I work in the emergency department and I also work as an inpatient visitor. I either sit at the desk and wait for calls from all around the hospital to do things like lab runs or transport and discharge patients or if I'm visiting patients I'll go room to room either in the ER or the inpatient center in Dorenzo and just bring around activities like books, newspapers and, and games that they can choose from. She went above and beyond the normal requirement for a high school student completing their volunteer hours um, as dedicated hours and years of time. She's even trained other students to work there. So it's really a big impact. Um, the hospital is a big part of our community and for students who live in the community to work there um, is really helpful and we wanted to recognize that. Amanda has been a volunteer at Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital for a number of years. Uh, today's high school students are extremely busy and despite a very active life with um, athletics and skating and being an outstanding student, she's also found time to dedicate her time and energy to other people and I think it's a trait that's very mature and um, commendable for a high school student to learn so early on that giving back to the community is one of the best rewards of being a member of a community. I've been a competitive synchronized skater for about seven years. I started in fifth grade and I just loved it. Uh, I did it competitively all years. I've won three national titles, one at the intermediate level and two at the novice level. Um, I'm not skating this year, so I have senior year off, but I miss it and hopefully I'll go back to it one day. So Amanda exemplifies the type of people that should get the Ray of Hope Award, and that's somebody who gives of themselves unselfishly. She's worked at the Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital for over two years, uh, took time out of her life. She's also a skater, took time out of her busy schedule to give back to the families and the patients and her co-workers and I think that's exactly what the youth of today should be doing, unplugging and going to have that human experience and she's a great role model. With the figure skating uh, aspect, I was missing something in the sport. I knew I loved it but I wanted to be part of something bigger and my individual side of the sport was great but being on a team in synchronized skating really helped me even become more independent because I had to be strong enough to be part of a team. And I noticed the same thing at the hospital. So it's a community hospital and I had to work alongside with everyone else to learn how to help the hospital grow, but also I had to be confident enough in myself to be able to do that. One of the nicest things I can say about Amanda is her ability to put other people in front of herself. She is concerned about the patients their families, visitors to the hospital. She's even uh, been able to train other volunteers with sharing her expertise and her knowledge. I think that it shows Amanda to be a very caring individual, a compassionate individual, and those are traits that uh, not every young woman develops in themselves at such an early age.